All right, today I'm back with the two Dutch Shepherd puppies. They are five months old, Rebel and Riptide. two little sisters and like I explained in other videos these are two puppies that I'm doing via Skype with Michael the owner of these two in France and everything we're doing is through through Skype okay so now we'll have a lot of videos <laughs> over and over we'll probably do a series just continue with these guys all the way through because these two, in the end of their process, are going to be two of the most elite protection dogs that have ever hit this planet. Trust me, the things that we have planned for these two are things that have never been seen before on this planet. <laughs> okay, so, but to give you from young all the way, so today's video... I've been showing you bite work, I've showed you a little bit of their obedience, and I'll be doing the combination of the two, right, in and out. Obedience, protection, other exercises, advanced skills that we've been working on. But today, back to protection. And so the process here, first thing is hitting hard, targeting perfectly in the areas that we want and short distances into the areas and long hits into the areas. Two completely different exercises and they are taught completely differently okay so Michael's been working very hard at this and I've been giving him exercises how to make two very young puppies have such strength and power into those punching hits in the areas that we want Drive, desire, precision, short, long hits to do well are not easy, right? Meaning, yes, tons of protection dogs and working dogs can go and run and hit. But to hit and follow through the bites, going through with no hesitation takes skill. Right? That takes a certain type of tactic skill. I mean, it's very rare to ever see in the world of protection two five-month-old puppies that just turned five months old with that kind of speed in those driving hits and power, right? That punch power. And now the tenacity and holding in there and again, in my system, unlike sports, you know, any of the sports, I want some, uh, right, real world aggression, right? We're not really teaching that, but through the skills of how I do bite work, we're getting that, uh, that tenacity while they're in the spots that we want them to be. 
Right, so driving, hitting, staying in there, hearing, right, that primal real aggression that you don't get in sport dogs, right? That's, there's so many differences between real world stuff and sport stuff, right? It's very difficult for people who are not really educated on these things to know the difference, but I start very young right away with some good aggressive behavior in there. That primal that I talk about in all the other videos, instinct of uh, that real fight drive. Okay, and you see that there. Now, other step here, while they're in that drive, in that, uh, uh, in that fight drive, we want to have them let go first time we tell them when they are in an aggressive state of mind. First time Michael tells them out, they let go every time, even in aggressive state of mind. Now, talking about rules to the game, okay? Not only in my system do puppies, young puppies and adults have to let go, no matter what, first time told, but in their shaping process, right? you see that these two always hold steady. And then when Michael gives them a cue, yes, or a pocket, they're allowed to go and punch the pillow and go hit the pillow, okay, or bite. Okay. And this is rules of engagement, okay? So these are the laws that my puppies must follow in my game. So, Unless we give the cue, they are not allowed to touch the object, okay? The bite pillow, if it was a bite sleeve, whatever it is, ball. But here we're using the bite pillow, which they absolutely love. So here, just example, you're gonna see Michael holding the pillow and here the puppy knows it's got to hold off, target it on, because the more discipline you make, the more focus you make on dogs and puppies. When there's discipline and rules, you get more strength in those shoots and the precision and power of things, opposite of what everybody thinks. So here you see the puppy waiting, and you see it start to flinch in the body a little bit. Come on. Say it, say it. Okay. Oh. Okay. Oh. Right, and all of a sudden, yes, or pocket, boom, straight up into the target. Okay. Oh. But the puppy understands the laws and the rules that we're playing by. Hold steady. Don't jump the gun, but we want to see that, come on, come on, come on, little flinches of the body, come on, come on, come on, because that's going to bring the power, right? The speed and the power to the hitting. And it's perfect. She held off with just tiny little body flinches. That is showing 
true holding and understanding the laws perfectly. You're going to see here Michael walk around with a pillow and move it around and just walk around, baiting them into failure. Okay? So if you walk around with something like that generally, dogs who love the objects are going to take cheap shots and try to bite it and grab it when they're not told. Okay? So Michael's walking, going to walk around here with the pillow, move it around different areas, right? And make sure that the puppies do not touch the pillow until told the Q word that they are allowed to attack it again. I'm going to solicit some cheap shots. <laughs> All right, perfect. Complete control, knowing they can't touch it even when it fell to the floor. <laughs> Perfect. And then here, when Michael tells them the word, you'll see now they hit the pillow. Yes! Ah. Ah. As simple as that. No touching, no biting until given permission. Okay? And this affects life where real protection dogs, no accidents, no biting people just because, accidental bites because we can't control them, control their drive, they want to bite people just because, right? So this game is teaching them for that further game, right, when they're real protection trained, that they understand the rules in life, that they just don't ever attack somebody for nothing. Okay? So they're safe to be around knowing rules always exist in this bite game. All right, then here, now what we've been just talking about, Michael's going to raise the bar here. Now... He's going to put them on a tarp, do bite work, and really get things going and shaking and drive them crazy and make them right neurotic. So the game is they have to hold on, not let go with all the pressure that Michael's now going to put on them. Okay? We want to see shaking. We want to see some aggression, but no letting go and taking all the pressure from the different objects, you know, movements, positions that Michael's going to throw himself into now to really test them. But again, no matter what happens, they must let go the first time they're told. Oh. 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 Oh, 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 oh. 
Yes! Oh, oh, oh. 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 So, not only are we getting puppies that let go when they're in arr, 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 high aggression and can listen, right, and be in two places at the same time, in the aggression game, holding on good, not worrying about outs, good aggression, punching, but they let go the first time when they're in hostility. Now with the bar raised, and tarp going all over them and the shaking and the sounds of the tarp and right the the pool noodle touching them all over the place bringing things they still let go the first time they're told it doesn't get any better than this right this is they're five months old most protection dogs can't do that in their whole career <laughs> Right? But that's why I start my puppy so young, doing all these things, getting all this prepped, getting all the big stuff out of the way so that in life, anything they see, they are ready for it. And they're only five months old. So we don't have to worry that they're in a high state of aggression and they're out of their minds. They will still let go, doesn't matter. I know that for sure in my system, right? And here's just a classic right in front of you example of these two young five month old puppies being in that and being stimulated by the tarps and all the stuff and they still let go when they're told the first time. So <laughs> we have big boy protection, aggression game, skills, fluency, right now at five months old. And it's only going to get better, right? It's not possible ever, right? Because they're doing it perfectly right now. But we'll be growing their skills of high level things in all other areas. But as far as their biting, aggression, targeting, letting go under high pressure, everything right now is beautiful. So it's a great job by Michael in France who owns these two dogs. I mean, you cannot get better than that. Doesn't exist on the planet at that age. So 
Awesome, Michael, great job. Riptide Rebel. And till the next video, I'm Richard Hines, Miami Dog Whisperer.